In order to get to St. Blaine's Hill, we are starting by walking through Plan Farm and are going this way because the farmhouse is currently vacant, so we will not be imposing upon anybody's privacy. In other circumstances, the route would go up and through the grounds of the well-known historic St. Blaine's monastic site above the farm. Having passed the farmhouse, we join the route of the West Island Way, heading towards the south end of Butte. St. Blaine's Hill is the most striking feature in the basalt traps landscape at the south end of Butte. It is not a big hill, but its modest stature is more than compensated for by its magnificent location and its prominence. From the north, it has a triangular appearance, and from a distance, the west-facing slope in profile is an almost perfect straight line dipping at about 20 degrees. This is the angle of the dip across the whole basalt landscape of South Butte. The original lava flows, which solidified into the basalt, must have poured out over a horizontal land surface of old red sandstone, which now underlies the basalt, as is evident in the sandstone shoreline fringing Donegoyle Bay. This whole geological assembly must have been tilted later on by about 20 degrees during a period of intense tectonic activity. Erosion of the land surface since then has exposed a series of basalt layers which now form the parallel ridge lines across the South Butte. It is a beautiful and fascinating landscape. Just taking a 
in this uh, flanking path just uh, up above the wall. You can see it just to the left of the wall, just going across the shoulder. Beautiful basalt crag, just stacking up to the summit. The summit of the hill is an outstanding viewpoint with extensive views around the full 360 degrees of the compass. To the south is the expanse of the Firth of Clyde and the Ayrshire coast, as well as the islands of Little Cumbria and Arran. To the west, beyond Arran, is the Kintyre Peninsula and Loch Fyne. View to the north encompasses the whole of the island and the hills of Cowell beyond, whilst to the east lies the basalt landscape spreading out towards the long ridge of Tormoor. 